Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you basic file management. Once again, I repeat the topic. Today's topic is basic file management. So today we are going to see how to create a folder and how to create folder inside the folder. How to delete the folder. How to copy and paste the folder and how to rename the folder and how to save the data inside the folder and how to change the folder icon how to compress the folder and how to create a shortcut for a folder and how to hide the folder okay let me explain once again today we are going to see how to create a folder how to create a folder inside a folder how to delete a folder how to copy a folder and how to change or rename a folder we are going to open a word pair and we are going to type the following and we are going to save the word pair inside it for foundation 2 or inside a folder and how to change a folder icon how to compress a folder and how to create a shortcut to a folder and last how to hide the folder so this uh, these are the things we are going to discuss today so now first we are going to create the folder structure id for foundation 2 and desktop and inside the folder id for foundation 2 we are going to create a new folder called assessment method inside the assessment method we are going to create four folders namely assignment 20 marks final exam 20 marks first exam 20 marks and mid exam 30 marks now i will show the demo how to do the same so now this is called as desktop so where we are going to create the folder so first folder how to create a folder so desktop right click and go to new and folder once again so in desktop right click go to new and folder and type as it for foundation So how to go inside this folder? Just click twice, so which will take you inside the folder. And inside the folder, we want to create a new folder. So how to create a new folder? Again, right click, go to new, and then you want to select folder. Instead, the top you can see the new folder icon. Just click the new folder icon, which will gives you a new folder. So type assessment assessment methods so how to go inside this folder just click this folder twice one two or double click and then you want to create the four folders again new folder let us say first exam so how many marks 30 marks and then followed by mid exam 30 marks and then followed by assignment 20 marks at last final exam 20 marks 20 marks So now we have created the folder structure. So where ID for foundation to in desktop. Inside this folder, we have created a folder called as assessment methods. Inside the folder assessment methods, we created four folders, namely assignment 20 marks, final exam 20 marks, first exam 30 marks, and mid exam 30 marks. So now we'll proceed. So 
So first one we have created the folder structure and then number two delete the folder assignment 20 marks. So how to delete this folder? So just this is an assignment 20 marks. How to delete this folder? On the top of the folder right click and go to delete. Again how to delete? On top of the folder right click and delete or else we have an alternate method just click the folder and use the delete keyword in your keyboard okay so now I'm going to use a right click just right click and navigate to delete so now you have deleted the folder and then copy the folder first exam and change the copied folder name to project okay so Again, copy the folder first exam 30 marks. So, so, first exam 30 marks the folder, just copy it. How to copy it? The folder in which you want to copy, just right click on the folder where you can see copy. How to copy? Just right click on the top of the folder and where you can see copy. Now you copy it. Now where you need to paste. So, here you need to paste. So, right click go to paste okay so how just right click go to paste now we have copied the folder and change the copied folder name to project so you want to rename this to project so how to rename this just right click on the top of the folder where you can find rename if you want to change the name of the folder you want to use the option rename so how just which folder you wish to ch change the name on that folder top just right click and then rename and type project yeah. and now next step is we want to open a wordpad and we want to type this same so i'm just going to copy it so how to open the wordpad so just go to start where you can find windows accessories M N O B G R S T W. you may need to see where under windows accessories where you can find wordpad so how to open the wordpad in windows 10 just go to start button and go for windows accessories in w where you can find windows accessories just click once windows accessories inside windows accessories you can find wordpad just click on wordpad and type this in save the wordpad as task 1 inside the folder it for foundation 2 so how to save this go to file and go to save where you want to save the folder you want to save the folder save the wordpad inside the folder it for foundation 2 so it for foundation 2 is in the desktop so just navigate to desktop and select the folder it for foundation 2 just click it once and open it now you want to save as task 1 and now close the wordpad now change the id for foundation icon as you like so now here is the id for foundation 2 folder is there now we want to change the icon so how to change the icon for this folder so the folder you wish to change the icon just right click on the top and go to properties once again i repeat the steps just right click on the folder and go to properties again go to customize and in customize you can ch see change icon just click on change icon so where you can see varieties of icon so which icon you like you like this or this or this just select click ok and apply ok just refresh it so where you can see the folder icon has been changed so this is how you want to change the folder icon again 
So how to change the folder icon? Just right click, go to properties, and then go to customize and go to change icon. Which icon you wish to change? We have plenty of icon. Just select it. Click OK. Apply. OK. So now you change the folder icon. And now you want to compress the folder ID for foundation to and make a shortcut to desktop. So how to create a compress folder? What is a compress folder? Compress folder used to reduce the memory size where folder structure will not go into uh, emails like Yahoo Mail or Gmail whereas compress folder we can send in any emails so how to create a compress folder just right click on the top and where you can see add to archive you can use varieties of options to create a compress file but I'm going to use the option to that is add to it for foundation 2.5 so it will create and compress folder and the name it for foundation 2.5 just click it once so where is the folder now you can see the folder so it for foundation 2 so this is called as compress folder and next one we are going to create a shortcut so how to create a shortcut just right click and send to where you can see desktop create shortcut okay right click on the folder in which you wish to create the shortcut and just go to send to and create desktop shortcut now you can see now the compress folder is a folder and it's a folder shortcut how can you know it's a folder shortcut where whereas you can see the arrow symbol it means that it's a shortcut and next one you want to hide the folder id for foundation 2 okay so how to do this it's very simple just which folder you wish to hide on the folder top right click go to properties and where you can see hidden just click hidden apply okay okay now where is the folder now if you wish to see the folder back or again okay i'll tell you just go to this pc and go to view and go to options and go to change and folder sorry change folder and such options and go to view and where you have two options do not show or show it in folders so you just click the option show hidden files folders and drives apply okay now where is the folder i is here is the folder once again if you wish to hide the folder again go to this pc go to view go to option and select change folder and search option go to view and don't show apply okay so now you're hidden the folder so next step is you want to change the desktop background how to change the desktop background just right click on desktop and go to personalize so where you can see background you can browse if you have some images you can use this one or else you have a solid color just select the solid color and after selecting the solid color you can choose any color as you like see now the background has been changed so in this way you want to change the desktop background how to change the desktop background just right click go to personalize and go to background and select whichever you need picture or slideshow whatever now I need a solid color so whatever color you like now blue or green or as you like just click it once 
automatically background will change accordingly so thanks for watching my video thank you bye